morning guys. Um, it's a bit early, but today is a very special day. I'm super excited because I'm actually headed to a film festival. I've never been to one before. One of my friends had been talking to me about this class for a while and I spontaneously decided to go. Maybe I'll tell you that story a little bit later. For right now, I'm headed to go eat some breakfast and then I'm gonna walk over to the meeting spot to get in the van and go to San Francisco. I'm very excited and I'm gonna take you guys along for the journey. I didn't actually end up making this into a full-on vlog, so I got a bunch of footage for b-roll which you guys hopefully just saw. One of the biggest takeaways that I took from this film festival, because as you guys know I'm not like super into film, like that's not what I'm interested in, I'm more interested in non-narrative film, in video production, that sort of thing. So you know I was debating going when my friend mentioned it to me because I was like well I'm not like super into actual films. I've never been to a film festival before and I wanted to broaden my horizons. And I'm very happy that I went because I don't know, I was inspired in a different way that I've never been inspired by before. Normally the people I'm inspired by are YouTubers. <laughs> that's just the type of people who I've been watching forever and that's the type of content I like the most. Going to a film festival and then afterwards being able to meet some of the directors, it was very different and very interesting because it kind of opened my eyes to like this whole other world that I kind of have just not been really paying attention to. And in no way am I saying like I'm now gonna be a director, like no. <laughs> I still know that I'm most I'm not really that interested in narrative film. Like for me to create, I wouldn't want to really make a narrative film or you know, maybe one day I would want to try. I'll get to that maybe in a future video. It definitely opened my eyes to maybe trying something out in the short film dimension. <laughs> I don't know. And also I was able to interview or ask a quick question to two of the directors who were there. When I decided I wanted to ask them a question because we were put into like a room a bit to the side and um, we did like a little Q&A and then I kind of just like at the end I kind of whipped out my camera and was like, hey would you guys mind answering a question? And the first time I did it for the first um, director I was very nervous because, <laughs> first of all, I really, really admired the mo his work. Um, I'll be honest, I hadn't. Well, I'd done research for the class on him before going, obviously, but other than that, I didn't really know any of his previous work that much about him. But, I don't know, there's something about his movie that I just really, really liked. It's called A Boy, A Girl, A Dream. Um, it was really good. It was one take, which I think blew my mind because the entire time I was like trying to catch like oh there may have been a cut there like when they got in the car or something when it got really dark. I don't know I'm going off on a tangent. And then the second one was Hale County this morning this evening and the second one I also found super different because it was more experimental and since I like non-narrative film and like videos and stuff I kind of thought it was interesting how it was kind of a compilation of just a bunch of moments, of real life moments, of not actors, of just real people, so I thought that was really cool. So I asked them if you could give one piece of advice to someone who may be starting out, whether that be in film or in something else, what piece of advice would you give someone who's starting out? And I think they gave some amazing answers, so let's cut to that right now. So I'm here with Kasim, the director of A Boy, Kasim, A Girl, Blossom, Kasim. like, uh, sorry. Like Awesome or Blossom. Okay. Yeah. The director of A Boy, A Girl, A Dream, and it was amazing, by the way. So. Thank you. Let's go to New York. Let's go to Miami, but, whoa, let's not go too crazy. Thank you. And yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing um, I took away from the film personally was the message of following your dreams. Yeah. And so if you could give one piece of advice to someone watching this who may be an aspiring creative, whether that be through film or YouTube, what would you want them to know? Uh, I'd want them to know that how much their voice matters right now, especially. Um, yeah. That the impact of the, the arts is significant and mm -hmm. it could, it can, it can change a person. It can, it can, it can have an impact and you know, I think I think it's important to know that moving forward and, and 
in what's happening in the world right now because honestly I think the world's hurting a bit and it yeah. could use it could use more voices in the way of good so thank you so much absolutely <laughs> hello my name is Romel Ross I made Hell County this morning this evening but my, my first step I gotta do though I gotta get in school though I gotta get in the, I gotta figure out what, what I can do I gotta get in school Yes, it was an amazing film, so thank you. And um, I'm mostly interested in video production, as I just told you. Mm -hmm. And um, it's not really narrative-based, like a lot of traditional Hollywood is. So I guess I was wondering from your standpoint, because I know you did photography before, um, what would you want to say to someone who maybe is interested in film or maybe not, just as like an aspiring creative? What would you want to tell someone who's maybe starting out? Huh. Um, I think I would say try to make work that only you could make. Um, work that's extremely specific to sort of your point of view, um, you know, kind of cultivates your experience and make something like really, really idiosyncratic because I think, I think that's where like real truth is um, and I think that's where people can really um, understand what's happening when, it, when you're just like blatantly unique about what you're doing. Okay, thank you so much. You're so <laughs> it was an awesome experience going to that film festival. I'm very glad I went. It was really nice to kind of see the behind the scenes of these directors and hear about how their stories and how they got started. And even though I may not necessarily want to be a director um, of like big movies and things like that, it was very, you know, it's closely knit still to the video world and I and just being around like creative people it's just always an amazing energy so I don't know it was a lot of fun I'm very happy I won it maybe one day I'll make a video where I talk about why I don't like narrative film because I don't know there's just something about it that I just I prefer like the real the real non-scripted aspect of YouTube videos but Edgy your last video was scripted I know I don't know it's kind of weird <laughs> I think what they both said was super important about how, you know, everyone has a different voice and everyone's voice is different and unique and everyone has an important message for the world. And especially now when there's a lot of things happening in the world that, you know, maybe everyone's voice really needs to be heard right now. So, and especially through things as powerful as films or video. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you liked it. And make sure you leave a comment down below. Oh, and also, reminder to my Discord people, um, <laughs> Discord people. The deadline for the second Ember Challenge is this Thursday. So, yeah, I know it's a video this time, so it's a bit more work, but still, I think it should be fun and I don't know. Make sure you submit them to this email, which I will have on screen right now. And yeah, I will see you guys this Friday with another new video. Bye!